Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm going to talk about some things that I have I used to love but I don't love anymore. Some of these things I still like but I don't love them anymore. Okay, so I just will get started and I thought we can start with some base products and I have three base products. I got two foundations. I got four base products. Two foundations, one concealer and one powder. So we can start with the two foundations. The first one is from Makeup Store. It's their CC foundation. This has been my all-time favorite foundation. This is not available anymore. This is all I have left. It's not that much. I love this fund. I loved I used to love this foundation. It was the best foundation I have ever tried. It goes SPF 30, which I need. It's my color. It's super pale. And I used to love it. But I don't anymore. I don't know if it's my skin. I think I'm a little bit drier now than I used to be. So this doesn't go on my skin as good anymore. This is kind of matte foundation. It doesn't suit me anymore, which is really sad, but in the same time pretty good because I can't get this anymore. So this was my holy grail, but it's not. And it makes me a little bit sad. I love this. It, this was the best thing I have ever used a couple of years ago, but now the other foundation is Revolutions Fast Base Stick, I think it's called. And this one, it's a super strange foundation. It's a stick foundation. It's the first stick foundation I ever tried. The color was perfect. The first time I've used it, I have used maybe one third of it. The first times I used it, the color was perfect. The foundation was perfect perfect it went on so good and it stayed on so good and the color was perfect but after a while it got oxidized and it doesn't suit me anymore it's too dark and i i don't understand what happened i heard other people have problems the same problem with this foundation and i don't know how can foundation start oxidize after like maybe 10 uses so now i don't like this anymore it doesn't suit me anymore and i am so sad about this because i really liked this in the beginning and i think this is the lightest color so i can't use it it's too dark for me now it's oxidized the hell out of it the undertone gets so weird i don't know I don't know how it's possible when it's a stick foundation. I don't understand and I'm sad. I really love this. Oh, I got a thread. The concealer I have loved is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I have never loved the packaging because it's a little brush here. I used to love this. This is very cheap and I thought it works wonders. Then I bought... I don't remember which concealer I bought after this. Maybe it was Naked Skin by Urban Decay. And then I went back to this and I felt like this is not good at all. It works okay. But... It doesn't conceal that much, it gets in your lines and everything, and it's not so good. It's good for the price because it costs like nothing, but it's <laughs> not a good concealer. If you don't have so much money, you can try it, maybe you like it, but I don't. The last base product is a powder, and this is not the right container. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. <laughs> This is the cheapest powder I have ever bought. Once it was the best powder I have ever tried. 
but with this it's like the same thing with the first foundation I think my skin is more dry than it was before for a couple of years ago I don't know why maybe it's just because of the weather that I'm getting a little bit older I don't know the skin can change over time I can use this under my eyes but I can't use it on my whole face it like it leaves like a white thin layer all over my face and it sticks to all like this facial hair all my little peach fuzz it sticks to it and it looks ugh. it looks awful for baking my concealer it's really really good I still use it for that but all over my face it doesn't blend into my skin anymore so I just use this for baking, but it's a really good baking powder. Okay, then we'll go to, to an eyeshadow palette. And that is the Urban... It's the brush in here. It's wobbling around, yeah. Uh, it's the Naked 2 by Urban Decay. This was the first expensive makeup product I have ever bought. I remember I bought this in London. This was my baby. Urban Decay was pretty hard to get a hand off in Sweden at that time. I don't know if it even was possible. Yeah, you not in any Swedish store, I think. You had to um, buy it online. And I was so happy when I bought this. It was the highlight of the trip almost. I, I couldn't stop watching it. I couldn't stop using it. This was my baby. Literally, it was my baby I loved it to death now I don't use it anymore I never use it it makes me a little bit sad but when I look at it oh the brush and the two colors when I look at it it doesn't appeal to me anymore it makes me a little bit sad because this was my baby for a long time. This was my super baby. It was the prettiest thing I know. But not anymore. <laughs> the strange thing, I can't get rid of it. I've tried to throw it away. I've put it in a box and if I don't reach for it for a couple of months, I will get rid of it. But I can't. I can't get rid of it. I'm so sentimental. Some other eye product is um, fake lashes. I usually don't wear fake lashes so often anymore. I don't know, I got, uh, I have got sensitive eyes. Like the couple, uh, like this last, this past year or this year. Some mascaras, they like my eyes started watering and I don't know what happened. I never had a problem before. I think I am allergic to latex because I can't use um, eyelash glue with latex because then my eyes water all the time. And I don't use fake lashes anymore. I don't really know why. But I, I think it feels like my eyes is a little bit irritated. Even though I use latex free glue and everything, I don't know what's happened, but I don't use them anymore. But I used to love especially these. This is the Trio Lash. So it's not a complete lash, it's like three individual lashes together. So you can build your lashes up out here or in, in a corner. And I used to love these. I use them all the time. But now I don't. <laughs> and I I bought so many packaging like this because I love them so much. And now I have like two free packaging that's not even opened because I don't use them anymore. So these I used to love. Then I have a makeup tool. I love sponges. I always apply my liquid foundations with a sponge. And I have tried a lot of sponges. One of the first sponges I bought was this. When you just see it, you couldn't guess which one it is. This is from W7. 
I don't know what their full name is. In Sweden we say W7. And I love this at first. This was the first sponge I have ever tried, I think, or the real techniques maybe. But this is a very, very cheap sponge. And I loved it. But it's so freaking hard. I don't know. Uh, how should I make it compare? Yeah, okay. So when you squeeze this, it's very, very hard. And this is the real techniques. It's very, very soft. But I used to love this. I think this was the best sponge I know. But when I've tried it now, it's so freaking hard on your face. So I don't know how I could ever have loved this. Maybe I was just new with makeup. But if you are okay with a hard sponge, you can try it. It's very cheap, but it's nothing for me anymore. Used to love it. Don't ever use it. Don't know why I have it here. I think I can throw it away. Okay, the last three things are liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks is my favorite kind of lipsticks. I start to like bullet lipstick a little bit more now than I have loved it these last couple of years but they are still my favorite but I have three here that I used to super love I don't use them anymore and we can start with Gerard Cosmetics a couple of years ago this was super big in Sweden everybody wanted them everybody bought them and it like was like a bomb in Sweden this came and why all of their liquid lipsticks off the ground and I used to love them. This is Ecstasy. This was my favorite color. It's a really nice color. It's it's a cold purple color. I used to love this and this dries down completely matte. But these are so freaking dry on your lips the whole lip just crumbles together and it's like half of the size of your real lip so I don't know how I could love this so much how everybody could and people still love it but this is not a good liquid lipsticks lipstick but I love this with my whole life I have I think I have three of them but this ecstasy was my favorite color I like the color, I don't like the formula of it. And then we have, this was some of the first liquid lipsticks I bought, no, it's not a lip, lipstick, it's a butter gloss from NYX. This was one of the first thing I bought for my lips. And this is Angel Food Cake and I love this with my whole heart. I have a couple of them. I don't really like glosses anymore. and. This one, it's so, see here, it's so freaking glossy, it's, it like gets everywhere. I use them sometimes in the middle of my lip over a matte lipstick, liquid lipsticks, but on their own, it's too fudging sticky, the hair sticks to it, everything sticks to it, it goes everywhere. But these I really really love. This was my holy grail lip product. And this color, Indian Food Cake, I searched the whole world for it. It felt like I wanted this so much. I loved it with oh, my whole heart. Now I I use a little dot here and there. Here and there. <laughs> you don't say that in English. Här och där. In Swedish. Here and there. You don't say that. I use it sometimes just a little bit to get a little bit plump but nothing more. And the last thing is also a liquid lipstick from NYX and it's their soft matte lip cream and these were also the thing a couple of years ago and they have released more colors now I think so maybe again. This is a liquid lipstick but it's it's very moussey texture. It looks like this. I think it's still pretty good, but I don't like that moussey 
consistency. I want it to be, if it's going to be matte, I want it matte. I want it stuck. I want it harsh. <laughs> I want it, I want it to be there. These are like a little bit moussey and what I remember, they don't dry down. They get a little, little bit like satin, but it's the mousse thing I can't get over. I love this at first because it wasn't completely dry and completely stuck to your lips but now they're okay it's an okay price i use them sometimes but i don't love them anymore it's not my favorite i know a lot of people love them it's a good lipstick if you like this kind if you like this mousse thing but i don't so i don't love this anymore and this was all the products i was going to talk about in this video I'm thinking about maybe doing a video of products that I didn't love but now I love but I don't know if I have that many of those products I have a few maybe so maybe a short little a shorter video but I really hope you like this video <sighs> now I got hair in my mouth so I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing please do so you don't miss any of my videos and there's a bug. Oh, it's stuck in the middle of the window. A little ladybug. Okay, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will, I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye.